We're Eric and Marissa. We've spent the last two and a half years traveling to 42 states in the U.S., five provinces in Canada, and up and down the Baja Peninsula twice. Last week, we brought you an hour down a dirt road in southern Florida to the Big Cypress National Preserve, where we're picking you up for part two of our off-grid camping adventure. Good morning from morning number two here at Big Cypress National Preserve. The weather today is supposed to be much nicer. Got a bunch more sunshine in the forecast. We're hopefully gonna be making a bunch of solar energy, not having to use that generator today. I'm gonna get the auxiliary solar panel out and set back up so when the sun comes up, we can start capturing that energy, harnessing it, and powering the camper. The mosquitoes are super bad out here. They find you so fast. Got the solar panel down, wiring hooked up. Now we're just waiting for the big ball in the sky to come out over there. And then we'll start making some juice. Should be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be 72, partly cloudy, partly sunny. So I'm excited. So after a rainy night last night, we woke up and it is beautiful out today. The sun is coming out through the clouds. However, the ground is pretty muddy behind me. I want to do a workout. So I have on some combat boots and some knee high socks because the mosquitoes are bad too, but here we go. Let's do a workout. So now that the sun's out, we're just out here kind of relaxing, enjoying the beautiful weather and taking a look at what kind of solar power we're bringing in here. So the roof setup is this one here, 159 watts, 11 amps. That is the deployable panel there on its own solar controller. 94 watts coming in, almost seven amps. There's enough room in terms of the solar controller for the deployable panel to where I could have a second one and maybe even a third one. Maybe one day we'll get a couple more panels for outside too. Been going on. A walk. This is our second one. We did it yesterday. You know, do it again. Go just get in some steps. Since the sun's out, get that vitamin D. Wander around the campground, see if anything's changed. Most likely it has not. The consistency here of people is very high. <laughs> the turnover rate is very low. The occupancy level overall is also quite low. There's a pretty neat Sprinter kind of class B plus over here. It's got some European plates on it. Starlink going. They've been here longer than we have. This rig here, I saw the people the other day, older couple, retirement age, cute Airstream looking trailer over there. That's definitely the muddiest spot that I've seen it's a great example of why we're glad that we showed up here, took a look at the different spots available, and then made our reservation and choice rather than booking ahead of time, because what if you get a muddy mess like that? We got one new RV, at least. Marissa and I were talking before. I had guessed no new RVs. She said one more. Oh, looks like we got another something in the corner. So many flies, I'm not going in there. I've been using them each morning. There are a lot of flies. They're probably 200 in the, no, in the bathroom. No, that, that one had 1,000. Maybe 1,000? But they're not biting, they're just like nope, big ass it. fruit we flies have, looking things. We have a camper, I can hold it until we get back. Back at our lovely campsite, and now we're gonna make some breakfast. Thank you. Check out that behemoth. Brioche bun, two eggs, Swiss cheese, and turkey sausage? Turkey sausage crumbles on there. 
Gotta let that cool down for a second before I bite into it, but it looks delicious. That's delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Swiss cheese is super crispy on the edges. The insides. Eggs perfectly over medium, just a tiny bit of runny nature there. You got sausage falling out the bum. I tried to use the cheese to... Just made myself a glass of cucumber water. It is delicious and refreshing on this gorgeous day here in South Florida. Marissa encouraged me to bring my editing studio outside and all that really did was encourage me to want to go get back on the dirt bike again. So I've been looking up on Gaia and all trails, some of the trail systems that are around here. There's one big giant loop that you could do that's a nice 20 miles. So we'll uh, be getting the dirt bike back off the rack after keeping it safe and dry last night and go for another dirt bike ride brought five gallons of fuel on this trip and we're probably through about half of it now it's time to refill the generator after using it all night for the air conditioning then we'll fill up the dirt bike second That's a big puddle. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get off of the bike and I'm gonna let him go through it without me. I'm not, I don't think we should do it. I'm glad I didn't go. He's soaking wet. Can I get water in the earbox? Uh-oh. Now we got an adventure. Doesn't sound healthy. So we're gonna turn back because this uh, is pretty deep. The only option would be for both of us to walk through and push the bike. I don't know if we really wanna be doing that. And also we don't know how many other big ass puddles there are ahead. We can get at these trails from another side. So maybe we'll go try that. Unless we decide to talk off camera about the idea of us both getting wet and walking through. I don't know about that one.
other entrance into this loop that we were trying to do and maybe we'll end up having to turn around. I thought there was like a midway cutout in order to leave, but we'll see. We got plenty of fuel, plenty of time. Look at those legs. Uh. Nice shorts he's wearing. Looking ridiculous. I think he looks adorable. So we were almost back to the water crossing where we decided to turn around the first time and we got flagged down by somebody whose job it is to put up the different reservation tags for the campground that's in this area where we're riding. And apparently ORV doesn't apply to dirt bikes. It only applies to four wheel drive trucks and buggies and quads, I guess. Maybe not quads, but she told us we couldn't be back here unless our bike had pedals, which we don't have pedals. So we turned around spotted this cute turtle on the way back out and then there's also a giant gator that we saw on the way in that we'll take a video of since we're in gator country down here by this pond there's a couple big gators we saw two small gators i'm sorry we saw a small gator on the way back but look at how fat that one is over there and then another one in between the trees over there it blends in so well it just looks like a log yeah at this point we've stopped counting how many gators we've seen in our time here but you got fish jumping in this little pond Little piranha. Rawr, 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 rawr. We were just asked if I wanted an early dinner or if we're better off with some snacks. So she made a nice little mishmash of yeah, hummus, cauliflower dip, salmon dip, salsa. I don't know what that other one is. And then an assortment of crackers and other items for using as your vessel to get your sauce into your mouth sunshine today has been beautiful after yesterday's very cloudy day this is very pleasant to be outside so i made a cocktail for us on the road huckleberry north vodka with some ice and crystal light lemonade the ice melted but here this was your form of bringing like a it was a a, a road soda yeah if we want they're sweet A little better, still sweet. So Marissa gathered our Amazon boxes, some palm leaves, and some trees down there so we can make a small little fire for ourselves tonight. These palm trees are gonna go up real fast.
So our fire is simmering down out there. Marissa's working on making us some burgers for tonight. And a salad. And a salad. That way we balance meat, protein, carbs, veggies. I'm hanging out over here with Fluffy Cat, giving him some nightly pets. He's been sleeping all day. Oh yeah, he's playful. Hi. He feisty. Yeah, you be nice. No. Get in two pets this time of night, and then you start to get playfully swatted, and then you'll get aggressively bitten. My move with a burger when I'm eating a salad before. Take it. Flip it. That way you don't have a wet bottom bun. Mm. Salad's looking super good. Bacon, blue cheese crumbles, cucumber, spinach, tomato, onions, peppers, blue cheese dressing to top it off. So I do a keto burger wrapped in lettuce. Same stuff, bacon, cheese, However, I do 95% lean and Eric does 85% lean. Delicious. Now that I ate all my veggies, like a good boy, burger time. Super good. Marissa did a great job on the burger. The brioche bun sets it off. Onions on there, bacon, Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. Swiss cheese. And then Japanese mayo. Mm, mm, mm. So we got Captain Lettuce Wrap over here. Hazy's sitting up here on the table. He's pretty good about not trying to eat food unless it's uh, seafood. If you were to open up like tuna or you were to do shrimp around him, he's gonna try and get some of that. But the burgers, he'll leave it alone. He does like arugula. So my birthday is tomorrow, but Marissa couldn't wait to start celebrating it. So here we are with a birthday omni oven shaped brownie. Hey, I have to sing happy birthday. We're not singing happy birthday. <laughs> We're eating a brownie. Look, <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> Look how good. It is really good. We've never done a video on our Omni oven, Omnia oven. It's a round shape like a bunt pan, and that allows the heat to come up through the middle, but then it's got a normal dome shaped lid to it, so that disperses the heat and creates like a vortex in there. And it does make really good brownies, lasagna. We've done some vegetables in there, but I still am waiting on doing a pizza in there. Those are good. I'll be 36 tomorrow. I want another brownie already. <laughs> I never had time to cool off. Yeah, but they're so good. I'll let the rest of those brownies chill. They do taste better once they're all cooled. I'm hungry. Mm-mm-mm. Chocolate. The next morning. Good morning. Today is our final morning waking up here at Bear Island Campground in the Big Cypress National Preserve. Slept really well last night. It is humid this morning. Headed to the outside commode. While Marissa still sleeps. But we're gonna be pretty quickly getting it packed up this morning and out of here. There are a lot of bugs in there. Thankfully the bugs don't want to eat you. They just want to fly into your eyeballs and your butthole. Nurse is probably still sleeping, so I'll put away this generator outside real quick. Mosquitoes are really bad this morning out here. I'm trying to eat my face off.
Well, it's been a lovely four days here at Bear Island Campground, but we're both ready to go. It's humid, it's buggy today, the weather's not improving. It's gonna be a good day to go to the gym. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thanks for being here. Share this with your friends. Peace.